Hi, welcome to today's video. We are going for bold, beautiful, luscious lips. We are only using artistry to create it. A 3D effect that takes advantage of depth, light, illusion, who knows what's going on behind the scenes? You will, nobody else. And so what's so great is that you can take what you have and literally plump them up using a few simple techniques that I think will blow your mind. And let's talk a little bit about lips and lip trends, shall we? It's so funny, you always want what you don't have or you have something and you wish you could get rid of it. And I remember as a child, hating the size of my mouth. I was tormented because my lips were big. In fact, let me show you the lip lineage in my family. So as you can see, here's a picture of my mother holding me and she has a full mouth. Here's me in my early 20s on a fashion shoot. And excuse me, forget the lips, just look at those eyebrows. Look at the brows that I had and what did I do? I tweezed them away. Anyway, I digress. And then look at my beautiful son, who obviously has a full mouth as well. So the apples did not fall far from the tree, but it was um, something that I would downplay. In fact, when I started my work in television, I would line inside my mouth. I would wear really dark colors, kind of brick reds, which make the lips look a little bit smaller. And I was doing everything to try to downplay what so many people wish they had. It's the same thing. I got curly hair. I want straight hair. You know how it goes. You always want what you don't have. And so let's sort of look at lip trends throughout the years. I remember growing up in the 70s and the beauty icons were Cheryl Teagues and Christy Brinkley. And, you know, they all had this sort of American girl next door. The lip was pretty thin. Um, then, you know, you went into the 80s and it was a mix. Some of the gals had fuller lips, some were a little bit thinner, um, but it really wasn't until we got into the 2000s and beyond that really, really full pouty lips came into play. And, uh, you know, every celebrity, every star has them, they accentuate them, some have them naturally, some get a little bit of help, but nonetheless, it is a trend that is there for sure. And in fact, we see it overdone to the point where all you see is a woman's mouth when she walks into the room, and that's too much too. So there's a happy medium somewhere, and if you wanna take what you have and make it seem larger, I am happy to share with you that there are some really, really cool techniques out there that are so simple. You'll be amazed at how quickly this demo will go um, and the difference that you will see when I start and now this is the finished look. But let me walk you through it and I want this to be simple for you and easy so that you can do it at home. So are you ready? Okay, let's get started. First thing, make sure your face is completely done except for your lips. And what we're going to do initially is exfoliate our lips because excess skin, dry skin will always make lipstick not look its best. So you wanna start with a nice, even, smooth canvas. I just take a toothbrush that is dry and just go like this on my dry lips and just get rid of the dead skin cells. It's also stimulating blood to your lips, and that helps for them to appear fuller as well. Okay, once you're done, this is up to you. My lips are very dry, as you know, because I use the Lansano Now Lip Balm, um, and I'm going to put a tiny, tiny bit, because if you put too much, it will make your lipstick too glossy, and that's not really what I'm going for. So it's just a tiny, tiny little droplet to add just a kick of moisture, especially on the inner rim where my lips will get a little bit dry. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is just like we put a primer on our face, we are going to prime our lips. For that, you can use a concealer and I use the Tarte Shape Tape. Just a little dab will do you, but what you're trying to do is get your skin basically a light, 
tone just like a foundation would create and then we're going to set it with powder in just a bit. Not too much here, but enough to get rid of the pinkish tone in the lip. Okay. What's nice about this concealer is it's a little bit of a drier consistency. You don't want something too emollient as well, but not too dry either. There's that happy medium. So I find that the shape tape is just right. Now the loose powder, my Laura Mercier um, translucent loose, whatever I have left over on my puff, I'm just going to now hit on my lips and that's going to set everything and give it a really nice finish. Okay. So now it is time for technique and Lips are multi-dimensional. Just like we highlight and contour our face, we're essentially doing the same thing with our mouth. We're going to cast light in the upper part and a little shadow down below. And the way that we do that is by highlighting around the top part of the lip. For that, I'm going to use NYX Wonder Pencil in medium, and it's a light colored pencil, and it's going to now go right here across the top of my mouth. And I'm going to take a brush now and blend. And now the next thing I'm going to do is line my lips. I'm going to use two different lip liners. The color that I'm going with today is Feminist by Huda and it's a beautiful Ah, someone's trying to reach me. It's a beautiful nude color, not too matte, not too creamy, just a happy medium. So to complement this color, I will use Huda Beauty's uh, Trendsetter Lip Liner for the top. It's a little bit lighter than the Spice by MAC that I'm going to use on the bottom, but still same family. So what we do is we're now going to line just outside of our lip line. but not too much because the key is we don't want to look like a clown. Okay. And now I'm going to use the darker shade for the bottom lip and again, going just slightly underneath. And I'm going to take this color and now draw in some lines. Center, to the right, to the left, center, right, left. Again, this is about creating some dimension. So next up now is the lipstick and this one comes with a nice little wand so I don't feel that I need a lip liner. It's a little bit more precise. You can use a lip brush, by the way, if you feel that it gives you a better application. Totally personal choice here. I do use lip brushes when my lipsticks are darker because I need that edge and that precision. I also find that nude colors, mauves, will make the lips look larger anyway. And what really adds a little bit of oomph is some shine. Think of it this way. If you wear gold or silver lame or vinyl, <laughs> plinal, uh, pleather, anything that's got a little bit of a shimmer, a little bit of an iridescence, something that kicks the light will always make you look a little bit bigger. The same goes for our lips. So after we finish that, I will follow it with a kind of a creamy color. This one's vanilla latte. Who doesn't love that? And I'll, I'll provide every item used in the uh, description portion of the video. So now we're going to basically shine the center part of our lip, both lower and upper. And that allows the light to hit it and it creates va-va-voom, boom, 
lips and all of that. And you just saved yourself a lot of money because you didn't have to go do something semi-permanent um, or something that could potentially uh, make you not happy with the outcome. So I'm really happy to show you that there are so many techniques. And by the way, you can do the very same thing with reds and deeper colors. You're just highlighting across the top using a lighter lip line on the top, a darker one on the bottom, and adding just a little bit of shine in the middle. But it really takes what you have and accentuates it. Same principles with contouring and highlighting, same principles with how we use eyeshadows on the eyes. You are creating depth, recession, protrusion. It's all an illusion. And that is what makeup can create. And that's the joy of it. So let me pull out. Okay, so there's your 3D lip effect. I plumped you up. I hope it was easy. I hope it seems easy at least. I can't wait for you to give it a try. Just remember the key is blending. You don't want to have a really, really harsh light line around the top of the lip. Keep it a shade or two lighter than your skin color, but don't go to a white pencil. Also, a really cool technique for evening is to take a bit of a, a shimmery iridescence off white um, eyeshadow and hit a little bit right here in the cupid's bow. Has the same effect, but it's a little bit more nighttime uh, and a little bit sexier for whatever occasion that you may have. But um, yeah, I, you know, this is really cool and I can demo this technique as we get into darker colors for the winter months and show you that it's nothing to be afraid of, but with the right application and the right blending, you can make it seem natural and really create quite an illusion. So comments, suggestions, ideas, thoughts, let me know what you thought of this and what you'd like to see in the coming months. Um, I will also demo some fall lipsticks for you. Um, I'll give my lips a break, maybe a couple of weeks, a month or whatever, playing around with a lot of plums and reds and, and uh, what's hot and you'll see how it sort of wears on the skin tone. So if you like that, let me know and whatever else, I am here for you and I am gratefully here for you. Thank you so much for uh, subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button and you can be a part of this really cool family. Follow me on social media, my website. If you have any questions, hopefully it'll answer it there. Uh, there is a way for you to reach me as well. So I'm reachable. I'm approachable. That's what I'm trying to say. Go out, be bold, be blessed, and I'll see you next Thursday at one o'clock. Bye.